This is basically an artwork that has been made by Salman Khan. Uh, he's designed, he's made to design Ethel Kursi. This is something that was uh, from a time when I decided that I want to become a biker. In the middle, I wanted to become a biker and I wanted to ride bikes. So this is the part of the house that is the most used uh, by my whole family. My kids, Arpita, we love this area. Uh, the view is amazing. It's very relaxing. Hi, Bashable. Welcome home. Welcome to this house. I've just moved in 20 days back. So this is the first part of the house. This is the formal seating area. Uh, the interiors of the house have been very much inspired by Scandinavian design. This time around, when we uh, moved to this house, when you wanted to do this house up, we actually wanted to do something that's very minimalistic, uh, that is not ostentatious, that's not on the face. So this house is basically designed by Arpita. She's done everything about these interiors. By the way, what you're missing out right now is a very important member of my family called Mr. Potter. There he is. He was feeling a little left out, so he wanted to be in the camera. So that's why he's there, because he feels he wants to be in the frame. He wants to be noticed. As you can see, there's uh, you know, there's new speakers all over. You want to find speakers everywhere in the house because I love music and I like ambient music playing in the house uh, every time I enter. Uh, if you come for a sunset, you come in the morning, the moment I wake up till the time I sleep, there's always an ambient sound that keeps playing in the house. This couch of this something that I really like, it's an extremely comfortable couch. If you want to do something very relaxing, chilled, uh, that's where I usually sit down, have a cup of coffee, maybe sit uh, and reply to some emails here. This is the more relaxing spot. So this is the part of the house that is the most used uh, by my whole family, my kids, Arpita. We love this area. It has a very calming effect. I get to see the beautiful sea. Uh, the view is amazing. It's very relaxing. Uh, I like to read my scripts here. I like to, you know, engage with my friends here. When my, I have very friends that I'm very close with, we like to hang in this spot. As a family also, we are, you'll see us 90% of the time, we are right here. So the only time you can see the sun is this side, when the sunset happens, that's a few one, two hours that the heat comes in, but otherwise it's completely ventilated. And this chunk is a more private chunk of us being us, you know. Nobody can look into this balcony. Nobody can, uh, you know, peep through it. So it has great amount of privacy, but more importantly, it makes, uh, gives a lot of comfort to my family to be in this area. This, I would say, is a room that I make Arpita only use when, you know, in the night when we both have to sleep. Otherwise, I've dominated this room completely. It has completely been designed by uh, my aesthetics. With years, I don't know why, I've got obsessed with um, just need designs. I just need uh, something that doesn't distract me creatively, uh, stimulates me, and this is that place. This is the couch that I <laughs> that I, I really uh, had inputs about because I wanted something that I can move around in the room. And this is where I have my editing because I love photography. I like to shoot pictures. I shoot my family a lot. But the beauty about this couch is that I can move it around and I get it over here, which is basically my kid zone. This is where my PlayStation is. This is where I watch movies, but this is like where I like to game. After a long day of work, I like to come by myself and uh, you know spend some games on Call of Duty, play FIFA. So this is uh, where I get ready. My wife laughs at me because she says that I spend more time in the bathroom than I spend uh, anywhere else in the world. I like a clean bathroom. I like bathrooms that uh, that have a certain kind of an energy that you can spend time in. This is the uh, you know uh, area where you can see there is like my clothes. What I really enjoy is uh, my pair of sunglasses. So if you see, I I really invest in sunglasses. Recently, I've been uh, you know tripping over these this pair which I've not used as of now, but I plan to. So I've been. I protect my sunglasses, so these are a very beautiful player that I own. So, you know, there are certain things when I'm packing for a shoot, I'm packing for something, I like to always, you know, keep some of my own stuff. And I'm there's some staple things that I like to do. So, like this piece is just a white jacket. I always like to keep this white, white jacket with me. I like it, but uh, as this is, this is a Japanese designer, which is completely up my alley, I completely like it because uh, it's very, it, you don't find it like that. I like the print on the background. 
this is something that was uh, from a time when I decided that I want to become a biker. In the middle, I wanted to become a biker and I wanted to ride bikes, which I would like to tell everybody my wife didn't allow. She, I got the jacket. The jacket is with me, but I never got the bike. I, I love boots. You know, for me, I personally feel the sneakers are nice. Sneakers are cool, very good. But I think uh, the statement of the boots, like uh, boots are like uh, what a heel uh, does to a woman. That's what boots do to a man. So I really like the whole collection of boots. I like to invest in boots. And in boots, this one is my most favorite pair. I know it's dirty. It's dirty because I've used it a thousand times. This one is my favorite pair. So this is a brand called Guidi from Italy. And uh, this is, I've, I've literally used this shoe in practically all my songs because it gives you the look of a boot, but you can dance in them. And I love the heel. I love the sound of a boot. I like when you walk. It has that, you know, that iconic you know, sound that comes with the boot. So this is going to be completely, uh, this is going to be completely empty. Uh, for me, I, I like the openness the house offers. I don't really want to, uh, you know, make it cramped with a lot of furniture. For me, I feel that uh, there's ample amount of space for four of us to stay. Uh, and I just wanted an open space. So this is the formal seating area. The reason why we have so many chairs is because we have a big family. We love hosting. Uh, sometimes we have our friends over. Sometimes we have a family over. And this is where, uh, you know, the family comes and have a formal seating area. This artwork has been moving around from my previous house to this house. This is basically an artwork that has been made by Salman Khan. Uh, he's designed, he's made to design Ethel Kursi. You know, it has gold, gold leaflets here. And this is Ethel Kursi and these are the poses of namaz, different, different poses of namaz. It came in at the day uh, my first movie was, uh, my first poster came out of my first movie. This is the family area where uh, you know, we have a family TV room. So all the rooms are designed with their own privacy, with their own TV. But when we, you know, together, when we come, say, want to sit as a family and want to watch a movie together, we want to watch some cartoons together. This is where the family sits. You know, this is where we all engage in conversations and watch movies and entertainment. And this is where I have palmed off my son's PlayStation because uh, we, we both are very competitive and I, I am as equally a child as much as my son is. So he cries for my PlayStation, I cry for my own PlayStation. This is Ahil's room. You know, last World Cup, we took him to uh, for the finale and he got into the football craze. He got into football. He's been playing football. He's been learning how to play football. He intends to be a football player as of now when he grows up. I, when I was in Delhi, you know, uh, I was studying in Delhi. So I used to play for my school team. Uh, that time I, I was I was, used to, I was a big fan of Beckham. Uh, I used to play, I used to have a jersey called number seven. Two, 2003 football wasn't that big. So, you know, if we didn't get that opportunities. So my personal desire is that you know, when he gets in talks about football, I really want to promote it. I Because it's somewhere I'm living my dream through him. You can see this is a jersey that still has to go up. We had to get him an officially signed jersey of Messi so that uh, he can you know, wake up to Messi as he likes to put it. My baby girl has designed this place by herself because she likes everything pink. This wallpaper, Ayat went person to choose. She really wanted peacocks. She liked the, you know, she wanted the, the cherry blossom. She, this, these uh, trees reminded her of cherry blossom. This is the table we are made for them to dirty the house. If they want to play with Play-Doh, they want to play with anything with color, paint. That's a painting table that they can get it dirty. They can do whatever over here. I personally like this side because um, this balcony's view is completely different from what I see there. That's the piece of Mumbai. That's the sea. This is the um, the concrete jungle of Mumbai. Now, this is the fourth room, which is basically a guest room, but also a room that I've given to Arpita to use because her clothes were not fitting in my cupboard. Me and Arpita are big on, uh, you know, uh, enjoying the privacy of a married couple that everybody gets their own space. So that's her wardrobe. So we don't fight for a cupboard and uh, she doesn't have object to my shopping too much. And now this is the guest room, which is again, uh, you know, for my fam, my, my parents to come in or if Arpita has any guests to come and stay over here. So this is that, you know, there are houses in New York. So it has that kind of a feel to it. I like this vibe because it makes you feel like, you know, you're just standing on the edge and you can just look down. It's just a straight, uh, you know, drop. And when you're here is when you realize how high you really are. The film Ruslan is something which I believe is a complete out and out entertainment. It has the right dosage of uh, romance, comedy, family values, action, 
and with action the action is driven by emotion i really wanted to change the game for this one from uh, my first film i was playing a lover boy the second film i was playing a gangster this one was a very stylized action this was supposed to be a, a somewhat of a very stylized cool urban mumbai guy i really wanted to keep a blend of uh, the the innocence of the character and the ruggedness of the action my weapon training had to i had to use a lot of knives which uh, which we i use in the action sequences i had to train for that and moreover that i think i had to had to get the little bit of a body because i was a, i'm playing also a person who's a rock star in the in the movie so i had to literally get the body language of a musician and doing singing and going out there so but i think it was uh, that came naturally because i hear so a lot of music here so that's why it worked out but it was a fun movie so i'm going to end this house tour with my favorite spot every evening i like to come here i like to see the sunset which is beautiful and be at this spot and just admire the beauty of the city so thank you so much mashable thank you for coming home i hope you liked it i hope you enjoyed it